All right, Boxing Social here with the Lone Wolf, the Body Snatcher, Dillian White. Which one is it nowadays, by the way? Body Snatcher. This is just a theme thing, but everyone called me the Lone Wolf. But, you know, I guess it's because I come into boxing the hard way by myself, no promoter, no nothing, and I just did it the hard way, man. That's why they call me that, but, you know, it's just a theme. But I'm the Body Snatcher, you know. I'm going to punch somebody in their ribs, <laughs> you know. It's just part of my genetic makeup. All right, so we're, at, we're here at the open workouts. Now, before you started, you gave Lucas Brown a little tap on the head and, and maybe a bit of splash of water, I believe, also. No, the water was accidental. I was trying to tap his head to see if there's any brain in there because some of the stuff he said in the past. I was tapping his head to see if there's actually a brain in there, you know, but it was kind of empty, but, you know. But, um, but but the water was accidental. I didn't mean to scrape water on him. That was accidental. That's a bit disrespectful. But I leant forward and the water was there, and then it, it scraped on him. That was accidental. Um, you're looking in very good shape. I'm trying. Ha has anything changed since the Hellenius fight in terms of preparation for you? Man, I just went away. I was honest with myself. I built on it and improved on it. You know, I improved and I looked at everything I did that camp, and I upped it and changed certain things and moved certain things around and did a bit more other things and did a bit more extras and did some stuff so so yeah a few things has changed a few things yeah. a few things mentally and physically uh, and strategic wise has changed obviously the Hellenius fight wasn't wasn't the most exciting bouts yeah. um, so do you think that there's pressure on you no, to no kind of deliver this it, time around no pressure on me Hellenius didn't win the fight what can I do yeah. I can run off them around the ring and swing punches and miss and, and fall off balance and then people say ah oh, Dylan's rubbish if a boxer control fight I box against someone who wants to, someone who's six foot nine, 200 amateur fights. I had seven amateur fights. Elenius has fought maybe 100 guys that looks like me, so he's used to that style. And he kept his amateur style. He's quite range and he likes to move. And when a guy that's six foot nine don't want to get knocked out, I watched the fight back two days ago and I was like, shit, I'm not a small guy, but it made me look like a midget. I was, it, it, I was tiny and he was huge. It was like a whole head and shoulder longer than me. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh man, this dude is long, you know. It's difficult when a guy that want to be awkward, and he knew. He said he wasn't training, but he was up in Sheffield sparring eight and ten rounds with AJ, you know. And he knew about the fight probably six weeks before the fight even happened. Obviously, this time around, we can expect a totally different fight. Lucas Brown is looking to knock you out. Mm. And do you, do you see him just as a one-punch power guy? You know, people change depending on the fight they're going to have and the, and the occasion. He might come out and use his jab and start doing something interesting. And one thing with me, anyone that fights me turns up differently. Every single one that fights me turn up differently. I don't know why. I don't know why. You know, Cesaro fought me, turned up differently, and then he went and fought somebody else after that, and then he just couldn't be bothered. You know, Ian Lewis fought me, turned up differently, and he went and fought Joe Giles. He came in 20-something stones. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It must be my face. I think these guys don't like my face. How confident are you uh, in yourself? With, the, with, taking, with taking consideration all the preparation, everything, yeah. your camp, everything. Yeah. How confident are you in yourself that you can get past Lucas Brown this Saturday? Very confident I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock him out. Very, very confident I'm going to knock him out. Obviously, after that, if you, if you win the fight, um, in your heart of, heart of hearts, do you want to face Joshua or do you want to go against Wilder? What's, what's the plan here? I always want to face Joshua, man. I always want to face Joshua. But Wilder is the one we want because I'm his mandatory and also... It's a fight I think, not necessarily easier, but it's a fight, it's a fight that's got a bit more holes, holes in his game, you know. But Joshua, we, we always done for that fight, you know. That fight there, I think even if we're, we're 60 years old and retired from boxing and there's a chance we can come back and face each other, I think we both say, you know what, we're old as shit, but let's go back and give it a go again, you know. I think that's just how it is. Fight week is just getting started now. Are you are you planning to uh, up the heat, up the ante a bit, come final press conference no, and win? I don't need to up anything, man. These guys think I'm a raging nutcase that's just going to go mad all the time. So I don't need to do anything more. He, he knows. He knows he can't mess with me. So I don't need to intimidate him or say anything. He knows. Lucas Brown knows. He knows. He knows in his heart. He knows. Because he made a, a comment saying, ah, oh, he's going to punch me in the face, this and the other. And then... When I, when I said to him, do you really think you could do that? He's like, oh, why would I do that? That's silly. So why say it then? And then saying it's silly, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. These guys know. These guys know what I bring to the table in and outside the ring. They know. I'm not a fuck or anything, but if it goes down, it goes down. Uh, quick thoughts about the Gloves Are Off session that you guys had. No, it was good. It was, it was good, you know. Um, it's, you know what? It's a bit simple. Not in a bad way. It's a bit backwards. It's like it's a bit... He says stuff, and you think, mate, it's the flipping 
is it 21st century? It's the 21st century. You can't say stuff like that. You can't. And some stuff he thinks and the way he speaks is just like, oh, okay. You know, like. What stuff are you referring to? Just stuff. I don't even want to get into it. We all know what we're, we're referring to, you know. Like any intelligent human being don't say, you know, but it just, it's just backwards. Some of the stuff he says, you know, some of the stuff he says is just. I just see it as, you know what? It's a little bit thick. It doesn't mean it, none of these things in a malicious way. It's just. He's a bit backward, and that's what, that's what he thinks is right. Is it, are you, what's your final message that you're going to say to the guy when you uh, go face-to-face -face on Thursday? Probably just good luck. God bless you, you know, and that's it. That, that, that's, that's, that's all I'm going to say. I don't need to say anything more because we're going to smash each other's head in anyway. So what more do I need to say? You know, some guys like to say stuff before the fight. Oh, it's me and you alone. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, good luck, man. What am I going to do? Stay there and take it. I'm not going to do anything back. Daniel White, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Pass the hat for me, please.